Hello and welcome back to a new episode from Sailing Prosperity. Leaving snowy Kristiansand and not crossing Skagerrak was very strange to us. We were soon aiming through the tight fog for Blindleia to be protected from the waves and the wind. And there we got to see some amazing places on our route before we arrived at the magic nature harbor, which we got all to ourselves since it's still in the winter time. And as you can see from our drone shot last year, this is really a popular place in the summer season. But again we ran out of water and had to head into Lillesand, where we got good help from the rescue center, the municipality and Lillesand Yacht Club. We also got a private tour of one of the most advanced rescue boats as well. So let's get started with this week's episode. Welcome to Sailing Prosperity. We are a family of five from Norway who absolutely love sailing around and embarking on new adventures. Here we have 12 year old Selina. And this is 9 year old Victoria. And the youngest one is Carolina who is 3 years old. And we are Thomas and Katrin. On this channel we will share videos and provide more information about our daily lives and exciting life experiences of the Flinskos family. After a medium passage, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other outside is nice and wet. Wet. Yet again. Are you cold? No. But this looks delicious. Conditions to be out there, uh, but uh, it is enough for us to see. We have the uh, maps as well to navigate by. We can have Christian Sun earlier today. Uh, we have done some major changes to our plans. We'll talk more about that later when we're not out in the sea. Uh, to give you an update on that, but. Uh, Amazing place. Of course, without the fog and green grass, it's even better. But yeah, the Norwegian coast is something special. Yeah. 
Você. The weather could be better, that's for sure. But I mean, look at these places we get to sail through. It is absolutely amazing. This is so much fun, even in the rain. <laughs> I'll show you more in a little bit. So we are now in the famous Blindleia, which will take us to Little sun. It's absolutely amazing to take the boat through places like this. In this area, there is actually four meter deep. come into this oasis if I were not to have a sailboat I would have, have a place like this all the way down by the sea and watch all the boats driving through Only imagine how this place looks like in the summer. People in all the cabin well, Let's see if we can find a way out of here. This is what I love about the Norwegian coastline. There's cool places like this. Well, oh, and the advantage of sailing in uh, winter time is that there's not a lot of other boats, so it, that makes it a little bit easier. Look at this place. So cool. Now I can smell pancakes. What's going on? That's all it takes to make the captain happy. Just a little bit pancakes. <laughs> nice, fresh and warm. Ah, oh, that sounds just perfect. So beautiful. This is a part of Lindleya. Absolutely amazing. Small little beaches. Once again, we are coming to 
lot of these views, beautiful passages. We just have to navigate ourselves through. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we just have to pass through here. That shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem, but as you can see, we can barely fit one boat here. exploring wow look at this cool place and over here we have sheep going in the wild We have small rivers running down. What a magical place!
Papa. Yeah, I have to jump here. <laughs> you want to explore somewhere over there? Whoa. This place just outside Le Lisan is absolutely amazing. Last time we were here, the place was full, packed with boats. And we were on anchor. But uh, now in the winter, there are no boats here. We're absolutely alone. You can see those big swells out on the reefs. Even some seagrass has uh, come up on the uh, dock here. <laughs> but uh, the wind has changed. When we came, it changed so that uh, we have been lying very still here for the night. And today we will have a lot of fun exploring. So now some breakfast and then marshmallows. All right. Oh, is it heavy? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Our barbecue is uh, going it. slow. Look what I found. Oh. I found it there. This paper. I found it there. All right. Okay. Whoa. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that look, looks very good. What is the emergency? What's going on? We have had a search and rescue for the Did the buckets run away? <laughs> That's all the numbers of the weights of the stones that uh, Victoria has uh, collected. She has diamonds and everything in her collection now. We're going to swim? Going swimming, okay. What's the temperature in the sea today? Two degrees? And we have uh, and we have eight, eight degrees uh, in the air. Are you putting out the new paddleboard? I think uh, I think I, I have to uh, film that in uh, speed motion. Ah oh, yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Bye bye. Oh. 
Kom med över. Kom en gram väg till den då. Eh, jag har sett på checka den då. Okej. Miss you already. Caroline och Selina. Slängtjus. <laughs> okay, Victoria. How much does the um, pink stone weigh? This, this. Yeah, this big one. Uh, How much does it weigh? It's really much. It's a uh, diamond. Uh, 47. 47, yes. Grams. Yeah. What have you been using to measure it with? How do you put it on the model? Yes. It's a digital way or something like that. <laughs> and it's dinner way. Yeah. When we bake, yeah. for example, pizza, we use this to find out how much um, it's a uh, yeah to have all, all the stuff we need and now i try to it, that's up and um, i can try this do you like uh, stones Toria? yeah i love you love stones can you show me what you found on the the uh, stone you showed me it's a uh, is it, what is it? is it? I don't know. It's something. I, I need to see what is it. Yeah. And you uh, have to investigate. Yeah. yeah. So today we are leaving this uh, magical place behind. It was has been absolutely fantastic days here. Uh, I will show you some drone footage of how it was last time we were here because that was in the middle of the season and the place was completely packed with boats so we just had to come back now to see how it is with a little less boats we got, had, had the whole place to ourselves and uh, but now we are ran out of uh, drinking water and uh, the tanks for washing water and cleaning is also empty so we have to go into town refill and then we will find a beautiful uh, anchor place in the nature harbor uh, not too long from here actually so uh, we will go past here on our way further on so we are seeking shelter in uh, Lillesand uh, we talked to Lillesand's sail training yacht club and uh, they uh, arranged with water it was closed for the winter but they came down and uh, opened the cranes so now we have refilled water in the boat but as you can see there's fog all over the place now so we talked to uh, Redning Selskaba and uh, they are uh, giving us a tour on board on board the boats so we are really looking forward to that. This is mo uh, some of the most advanced uh, boats that are uh, in the Norwegian fjords. With a lot of ho horsepower and uh, high-tech uh, equipment. So this is going to be really cool. Uh-oh! Tree where they also can uh, put down a uh, uh, to put people on or hurt. I don't remember the name. Uh, it's not uh, too easy to film inside because they are uh, planning the next uh, route, so uh, they are actually going out on, uh, on uh, a tour now without us, a training tour. So uh, I don't think I will get to do more much filming here. 
So yesterday we uh, tried a lot with uh, the rescue company and with uh, Lillesand municipality to get uh, water on the docks but uh, because uh, the forecast says that it will be freezing temperatures again tomorrow they didn't want to put it on for us. But uh, the municipality was uh, really helpful. The service uh, ta uh, town there, that's the service center. The service center was really helpful and they put us in touch with uh, Plims uh, Lillesan Seilforening, which is this place. And uh, here they were super helpful and uh, they came out, put out the hose for us. We had a really good chat and uh, they even found a place for us to stay for the night. <laughs> it's a really tight spot, but uh, when we uh, 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 docked here, uh, it was really a nice uh, option for us. But uh, since the hose over there was a little bit too short, we actually had to haul out our boat, so we put the bow uh, tied it down to the dock here and uh, then uh, the hose was at, uh, just far enough, uh, long enough, so we could uh, fill our uh, water tanks. So that's, uh, that ended really good. Uh, but it's, it's not optimal for us to lay like this for the kids and everything, so uh, we are trying to uh, leave today. I think we will get out smoothly and uh, we will uh, actually sail to Grimstad which is an another lovely small uh, southern uh, town in Norway so that will be very good that's all for now if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from us and if you hit the alert button as well you will get notified whenever we re release a new video